Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Let's see who's here today. If you haven't yet said hello, please feel free to say hello. I like seeing who's here. Please let us know where you're joining from so we can see how far our tribe reaches. If this is your first time with me, my name is Jackie Mancuso. This is Piston. Um, we're here to talk about astrology. And today, a little bit different. We're here to talk about Mercury and Venus meeting up. And then we're going to talk about the 888 portal that's tomorrow, uh, which is not astrology, but it's still fun to talk about. Sharon says hello. Elena, hello, Jackie, and friends. Good morning, Karen. Elena, hello, Grand Day Goddess. Hello, April. Happy Wednesday, Christine, with that sunflower. Good morning, Michelle. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Mimi. Good morning, Nicole. Kristen Christine says hi. Oh, oh, you can't see his tail from there, can you? He gave a little whack. Greetings, Lori. Good morning, Krista. Margo from upstate New York. Good morning. Maxine, hi from the UK. Awesome. Mary, first time here from Nebraska. Welcome, Mary. Hello, Melinda. Tanya, also first time from Toronto. Love it. Welcome. Alina's from Latvia. Awesome. Hi, Charlotte. It's been a bit. Awesome. Rachel and Luna, good morning, my ladies. Mari from Elgin. Nice. Uh, I was in Elgin yesterday line dancing. <laughs> Hello, Jess. You love this color on me, huh? You love seeing me in color? Uh, I'm going to try to be more in color. Uh, we have a couple first-timers here today. Long story short, uh, Jackie Mancuso wears black and gray all of the time. Um, and Jackie Mancuso used to have a really, really nice background. But Jackie Mancuso just moved. Um, I'm, I uprooted my life. I'm in transit right now. This is not going to be my background forever. I'm working on a different room to make it prettier and more inviting. Um, but I've had a lot of stuff in flux lately. So thank you guys for your dedication to me and my messaging. Um, yeah, it, we're going to get you something better to look at very soon here. Um, but this color is new. Uh, I'm going to try to wear color now. It's like a big deal for me. It's weird. Good morning, Lori. Debbie from Arizona. Hello. Lucy, hello from me. And Noodle. Is that a dog or a cat? It's hard to tell that emoji's real small. Jenny, haven't been around for a while. Did you change rooms? Um, yeah, I, I completely left my life behind and I'm on track to start a new life. So we'll put it that way. Is this a new line dancing place for you? This, uh, last night was the second time I had been to this place. Hello, Debbie. All right, let's hop into it because I've also been talking a lot lately. I've been going over an hour lately and I do love uh, chatting with you guys, but I, oh, I actually, I have to hurry up today. I have things to do, I have places to be. Today in the sky, we're gonna talk about astrology and then I'm going to pull oracle cards to see how we can bring this energy into our lives. So today, Wednesday, August 2nd, Mercury and Venus are going to meet up at three degrees of uh, Virgo, three degrees of Virgo, and tomorrow is the 888 portal. So Mercury, Venus first, then 888. Mercury. Mercury is the planet of the mind. He rules everything mental. Mercury is currently retrograde. His retrograde began on Monday, August 5th, just two days ago. And he is ever so slowly beginning to move backwards. He's moving from early Virgo back to mid Leo. And right away, as Mercury turns around, he runs into Venus. Venus entered Virgo about two weeks ago on July 25th. So she's been getting comfortable. She's been getting her feet wet in the Virgo energy. I feel like she is assimilated to the Virgo energies at this point. And I like that Mercury retrograde is bumping into Venus um, because I'm seeing it as like Mercury is this confused man who forgot his hat and he's quickly turning back and he's not really aware of his surroundings yet. He's so mentally focused on where's my hat? Where did I leave it? And I just feel this like 
grumble, grumble, grumble kind of man, like turning around. Um, because Mercury retrograde puts us in a time of mental review. And Mercury's still getting his bearings. Like, oh my god, now I gotta go back. Where the hell am I? He changed direction on Monday. So I see Mercury as a man forgetting his hat, bumping into Venus, this soft feminine character. In Virgo, Venus in Virgo, the sign of service, the sign of the virgin, the sign of the maiden. Venus is the divine feminine of the zodiac. So I, I was feeling this like, I was getting the vibes from this really good like 1940s, 1950s black and white love story. Venus in Virgo is such a caretaker. She's such a soft presence. And this mentally, hectically confused man is carrying this like ah, type of energy, right? And I'm sure a lot of you can feel that right now. Like, oh no, it's Mercury retrograde. Better double check what time my appointment is. Better make sure that I have gas in my car before I leave, you know? But Venus softens. In astrology, Venus softens. And what a beautiful gift to have Venus kiss Mercury on the head while he begins to backtrack to go look for his hat. This conjunction of Venus and Mercury retrograde in Virgo, I believe, is helping us soften our mental chatter. Venus shushes Mercury gives him a kiss on the forehead, and reminds him, why don't you check the end table? This is all happening in Virgo. Virgo represents the details of our lives, the analytical, mental, nitty-gritty details. And Venus places her soft value on those. So I see Venus giving Mercury a gentle little reminder of where to look, what to look at. If you would like more information specifically about what this Mercury retrograde is all about, um, check out the video that I just posted to my YouTube channel on Monday. I always record these Insight Timer sessions. I put them on my YouTube channel. Just search my name. You can find me. We talked all about Mercury retrograde. But this conjunction, as we begin our transition into Mercury retrograde, uh, with this conjunction with Venus feels like a beneficial softness so that we remember where we can review with ease so we don't completely lose our minds during this Mercury retrograde. Good day, Jackie. Bonnie says we are all looking for our hats over here. Tornadic activity last night. It's a mess in our town. If I lose you, it's because there's a tree on the lines outside. We will see how long before it snaps. Wowza. Wowza. Bonnie's in the Cleveland area. I hope um, hope you're good. I hope everyone around you is good. That's a lot. That's a lot. Crazy. Well, you can use the 888 portal to manifest whatever you want as far as how safe you are, how your internet goes, how your natural resources stay abundant. Um, so tomorrow is the 888 portal. This is not necessarily astrology. This is more of a numerology practice, but these yearly portals is something that I've been working with since 2021. If you add up the numbers of the year, the calendar year, you can find which energy this year holds. So this year is 2024, 2024. Add 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 4, you get 8. So this whole year, 2024, holds the energy of 8. 8 is related to infinity. Turn the number on its side and it's cool. it's literally the infinity symbol so eight is tied to the notion that there is always enough that there is always more we always have enough money we always have enough time we always have enough resources we always have enough love this year is here to like prove that to us and tomorrow august 8th the eighth day of the eighth month, which gives us the 888 portal. 
Um, I am a fanatic for angel numbers, repeating numbers. Um, <laughs> My friend Vicky teases me that I have like angel number Tourette's and I do and I don't care. Anytime I see one, I just got to like blurt it out. And then this really quick mental thing comes up and it's like, oh, oh my God, I was just thinking about this. I saw 888. Okay, obviously this means this. So when I see the number eight, my instinct is to think abundance, prosperity. And I think that's because of the infinite possibility that's linked to the number eight, right? April says, sharing the meaning of 888 from Kyle Gray's angel numbers. Your life purpose and your wishes are in alignment. You are doing the right thing and are on the pathway to light. I love that. Jenny, isn't it also something about Sirius being closer than usual or something? So Jenny, um, that, yes, that's the Lion's Gate portal. The Lion's Gate portal happens every year around this time. Um, the 888 is specific because it's 2024. So this is like extra. I am not the most uh, expert on the Lion's Gate portal, uh, but that is every year. And yes, that has something to do with where Sirius is in the sky and the pyramids and stuff. The Lion's Gate portal is like weeks long. That's what I can, that's what I can give you with that. Mari says, wow, my birthday is tomorrow. What a wonderful birthday. Love it. You're welcome, Jenny. Tanya got married on 888, 2008. That's amazing. Love it. Chantal, had anyone seen anything strange in the sky lately? Saturday night, I seen stars moving everywhere and two shooting stars and then last night more moving stars. That's amazing. That's so cool. I haven't seen really anything. I haven't been paying attention to the sky. I've been uh, in a flux. And Tanya's son was born on the 8th. All right, Tanya. Eight must be your number. You know your life path number? Have you added up all the date, all the numbers in your birth date? Does anyone know what the eighth card of the major arcana is in a tarot deck? Card number eight. It, most decks have the same major arcana light up line up. Um, so the cards 0 through 21. Yeah, yeah, April card number 8 is the strength card in most decks. The strength card is associated with Leo energy. And this 888 portal is happening during Leo season, during the Lion's Gate portal. So lots of lion energy is available as well. If you're not a tarot reader, let me tell you, the strength card, number eight in most tarot decks, um, it represents quiet strength. Like the last card of the first deck that we got on Monday. Remember we had that warrior of the heart card? It was the polar bear. Um, and the message of that card is you don't need to boast about your strength. You don't need to talk about it. You don't need to prove it. You just are strong and confident. So be, be strong and confident, right? That's what the 888 portal is asking you to do. Just be the amazing person that you are. The strength card, number eight, is also associated with animal instincts. And I'm referring to the healthy animal <laughs> instincts, right? Living through your heart, living through your intuition, flowing with the divine timing of life, getting out of your head, feeling when it's time to feed yourself, feeling when it's time to rest, when it's time to travel, when it's time to care for the kids. Animals don't have clocks. Animals don't have calendars. They flow with nature and they kind of respond to what's happening, right? Oh, the weather's changing, we have to find shelter. Oh, the astrology's changing. We have to make do with what we got, right? The 888 portal tomorrow is also a fantastic time to call in what your heart truly desires. So much Leo energy. Um, because it's already there. It, it already exists in an infinite amount. This is your time to call it into yourself. 
It's already, it already exists. Anything that you want, it already energetically exists. It's there. It's right next to you. It's just maybe one, uh, one universe over. Uh, this is how you call it to yourself. If you made any new moon intentions, on Sunday we had our Leo new moon at 12 degrees of Leo. Tomorrow's 888 portal might be a lovely time to solidify those intentions, to ask again, to reaffirm to the universe what you really want right now from your heart. What is your heart desire? This is not what your mind thinks you are capable of achieving. This is, what am I, what is exciting me right now? What is drawing me in towards it? What seems too good to be true? As far as a specific practice to do on this 888 portal, um, whatever you do, keep it practical, keep it realistic, right? You don't need to like put on a headdress and go chant stuff that you don't, that has no meaning to you. You know, people do that stuff because it means something to them. The ceremony, the ritual, that's not the magic. It's the why are you doing it, right? So do something practical, do something that resonates with you. My goal for tomorrow is to journal. <laughs> uh, I love journaling in a way that is called scripting. So what I do is I write an entry as if I am the version of myself that I am calling in. I write the journal entry in the present tense, but I act as if I already have everything that I currently desire. An example. Today was so great. I found this beautiful lake on this mountain and I pitched a tent and the overnight weather was perfect and the stars were impeccable. And you just like put that feeling onto the paper um, and you tell the universe that you're already living the life that you wanna live. And in time, it has to follow suit. It is universal truth because what your, where your attention goes, energy flows. This is how you rewire your subconscious. Your subconscious is the lizard brain. It's your operating system. If you keep focusing on what sucks in your life, if you keep giving attention, verbal, vocal energy to what sucks, when you complain about stuff, your subconscious will continuously write that into your code. This is a, this is a game, everybody. This is, we have control. This is we're making everything as we go. Your subconscious will pick up on like, oh, they keep talking about how much their body hurts. So I guess they want their body to hurt. So let's create more body aches. Or. You can take the Jackie method where I, I lined my house with positive affirmations for a long time. Um, but little things, like every time I walked into my bedroom, actually the door was at the end of the hallway and the door was always open. So like anytime I was in that hallway, I read, I glanced at this sign. Sometimes I would read it. Sometimes it would just like be in my awareness. But there was a sign that said, I am so lucky. Everything always works out. And over the years, Everything has just been working out because that's the messaging I'm putting into my brain. So scripting, Bonnie loves it. Bonnie has used scripting. Bonnie's daughter has used scripting to uh, ask the universe for something on a specific vacation and it worked and it was amazing. Um, it really is that easy. Life really is that easy. Uh, your job is to get out of your own way trust. Trust is what helps you move out of your head and into your heart. And in order to build trust, you have to try. I can't, I cannot promise you that this 888 portal will bring your dream life to you next week. But I can promise you that it will set some things in motion because whatever you desire is already there in an infinite supply. Your job is to call it into yourself. 
So we're going to use two different oracle decks today, and we're going to ask two different questions. Um, and while, yes, I love astrology, I love Mercury, I love Venus, I want to focus more on the 8 at 8 portal because this is... Uh, Mercury and Venus meet up on the regular. Uh, we're not going to have an 8 at 8 portal for 10 years. Can't even do math that fast, but yeah. So we're going to use the first deck to ask three cards. What do we need to know about the 8 at 8 portal? Um, so, oops, I forgot to prep my decks. I usually take them out of the boxes and stuff before I come here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to use the... It's a funky box. We're going to use the Spirit Animal Oracle deck to ask for three cards letting us know what do we need to know about the 888 portal. So I always do group readings. Feel free to send your energy into this deck, asking your highest self, asking your guides, asking the universe, whoever, whatever you work with, what do I need to know about this 888 portal? We will let three cards fall out of the deck for us. Uh, and the whole reading is for everyone here, right? The whole reading is for everyone. However, I like to give you guys an intuitive playground. So I'm going to show you the backs of the three cards. Uh, so you're going to see that same beautiful blue image three times. And then this is your time to play with your intuitive senses. <clears throat> we all have all of the Claire senses. We all have access to all of them. Okay, surprise. There's your permission slip. You are clairvoyant. You can see stuff. You've probably convinced yourself that you couldn't. Um, you can hear things. You can taste things. You can sense things in the room. Uh, for whatever reason, conditioning, people telling you that you're crazy, people talking shit about people that are batshit crazy, uh, you've probably convinced yourself that you are not intuitive. Uh, that's poppycock. So when I show you guys the backs of the cards, just notice if anything in your environment changes. It's not about waiting for like the monumental wizard-like lightning bolt to come into your life. It's baby steps, you know? Um, maybe like a car will drive by when I hold up a certain card. Or maybe um, your ear will pop or you'll sneeze or like your kid will come in your room. Those are all, you create your whole, your whole reality. Anything that is you are seeing with your eyeballs, you make it happen. So if anything changes when I hold up a card, that could mean that that card has a stronger meaning for you. This deck is the Spirit Animal Oracle. Um, and Sophia, you missed a lot. This will be on YouTube. If someone wants to like recap in the chat, uh, I, I got to get going today. I have a thing to get to. So how, what, what do we need to know about the 888 portal tomorrow? show you the backs of the cards. You let us know in the chat which cards resonate with you. Here is the back of card number one. The back of card number two. And the back of card number three. I'm sorry guys, I tried to have that poker face, but uh, you just wait. Here again, let us know in the chat what cards are resonating with you. Here's the back of card number one. I can't, I can't. Here's the back of card number two. <laughs> Here's the back of card number three. Aren't they all the same? That was the back of the cards, Teresa. It's for intuition. Joy's working with three, April one and three, Nancy two, Catherine two and three, Maxine one, uh, Lucy one, the strongest, then two, Jess two, Mary one and three, Nicole two and three, April one, Michelle two, Leah two and three, 
Linnea, two. Goddess, two and three. Lori, one and two. Nicole, one and two. Mimi, two and three. I've been seeing two, 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 and three, three, three all day today. Nice. April, I used my pendulum and it wildly swung on card three. Cool. Christine, one is the strongest, but all three. <laughs> Diane, I'm never playing poker with Jackie. You'll win. You'll win all of your money playing poker with Jackie. <laughs> Bonnie, two. Cindy, all of them. Sharon, one. Sophia, two. Joy, mm, thanks. I like to be adorable. Uh, Jenny, one and three. Debbie, two and three. Margo, two and three. Mari, two. Kayla, my screen glitched and an eight showed up on the screen for one, two. Was frozen and I didn't see it the first time. Must have to rewatch this another time and three, the video came back online. Cool. Interesting. Becca, what are you up to so much? AJ, two and three. LK, three. Melinda, obviously, all three. Tanya, all three. Uh, Lisa, three. Cool. Uh, all right. Card number one, after we have practiced. So there's a lot of new people here today, and I'm apologizing that I'm rushing. You guys saw the card back, okay? That's the card back. And um, it's to practice intuition. If you have no idea what's going on, forget what happened for the last two minutes. Now we're going into the reading, which all three cards are for everyone. It's just playtime for a second. I thought you were joking, so I didn't pick one. I didn't know what was happening. Well, card number one. What do we need to know about the 888 portal? Um, it's card number eight, and this is the Bobcat spirit. <laughs> Life is a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the bobcat moves f uh, furtively and mysteriously. Can someone define furtively? Of course it's eight. Mm -hmm. The bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously. And when bobcat spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of the intellect. Trying to figure things out, find logical explanations, or predict what will happen based on reason and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bobcat asks you to trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe reveal themselves to you through direct experience. Allow your vision to slip into soft focus and you, will be, and you will see between the lines and observe what has been hidden there all along. Bobcat Spirit helps you know intimately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom and revelations that come to you. Yet, know that understanding may not come as you would like it to. What you experience through your heart and intuition which comes to you as the voice of inner knowing, will guide you now as you accept that secrecy is woven into the fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of Bobcat spirit is a sign that you are being called to trust, even when what is revealed does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. Sophia, welcome to the pack. Furtively, secretly sneaky, cautious, in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention secretively. So it said that Bobcat moves furtively and mysteriously. All right, so what do we need to know about the 888 portal? Um, get out of your head. Get out of your head. Ask for, oh my God, your, I keep saying your wildest dreams. I want to use a different word. The universe is helping you. Things are showing up that don't make sense to show you instinctively, energetically, intuitively, like this is for you. Yes, move this way. This seems easier than it's mentally supposed to be because it's for you. So go with it because life is a mystery. If you live in your mind and you try to rationalize everything and you try to make sense of why things happen, you're, you're stealing the magic from your, what you can experience. Drop into the magic because it's here for you. You just have to get out of your own way. So about the 888 portal, just go, just go. What do you want? What do you want? 
everything else will fall into place. What do you want right now? Ask for it. Don't rationalize it. Ask for it. Follow the signs. Sophia, I trust the cat in me, as crazy as that might sound. Everything is within us, right? Like all the zodiac signs are within us. All the animals are within us. Some might resonate with you more than others, uh, but the feline, feline energy. Yeah, dream big, don't hold back 100%. Um, yeah, that was, that was good. Card number eight for the 888 portal. Card number two today, guys, is, um, I'm having a hard time with this one today. This is super what do we need to know about the 888 portal? Card number two is card number 32. The hawk spirit says, let spirit be your guide. Flying high above the landscape, the hawk sees both the big picture and the small details, observes the rain and the pond, as well as the cloud, and doesn't miss anything. When hawk spirit arrives, you are called to, play, to pay close attention to messages from spirit. Um, these can appear to you anywhere in any form. Listen to your intuition and keep your eyes open for synchronicities, the meaningful coincidences. Hawk Spirit asks you not to dismiss the signs that Spirit is sending you to guide you. Lately, have you been hearing the same word or song or coming across the same symbol here, there, and in the strangest places? Perhaps you hear a song on the radio with just the right lyric pertaining to your query, or you begin to notice uncanny billboards, license plates, or other places where repetitive numbers or words show up for you to notice. Pay attention to the animals that appear for you and connect with their symbolism. Spirit wants to communicate and reaches out again and again. When hawk spirit appears, it is a sign to listen. What do we need to know about the 888 portal? You're already being guided to it. You're already being guided to the your highest potential, your highest path. So uh, that's really funny that I was already talking about seeing angel numbers all the time, and I have to call them out. Um, you're already being guided to it. So this is what happens in, in my experience. I think a lot, right? I, yeah, I think a lot. I'm a very, I am a mental person. So I'll just be like going through things and then I'll have a thought and then I'll see a number. And my first instinct is to say, okay, what was I just thinking about? Okay, I was thinking about this plan and this happens in like a millisecond, right? I was thinking about this plan and now I see this number 333 and to me that means communication, that means connection and bringing in the divine. Okay, so if I want to get to this plan then that means that that's my way of doing it. And all of that has come with practice <laughs> um, and everything, all these signs that are coming up for you, they're extremely subjective. It is for you. Numbers can mean something vastly different to someone else, and that's fine. Animals can mean something vastly different to someone else, and that's fine. Astrology can mean something vastly different to someone else, and that's fine. Your messages are here to guide you. If there's an animal that keeps showing up, do some internet research. Take what resonates. If rabbits keep showing up, there's that wind picking up. Oh, it's all us. Everything's a sign. <laughs> if, uh, if rabbits keep showing up, look up metaphysical meaning of rabbits. Take what resonates. There's, there's a lot, you know? There's so much. Everything is so dense. Everything in this experience is full of symbolism. Follow it. Well, Jackie, I don't know. What am I supposed to ask for with this 888 portal? What have you been thinking about a lot lately? For the next 24 hours, for the next day, take a notice about when are you seeing these repeating things, right? When are you seeing, oh, I keep seeing that animal lately. Excuse me, what was I looking, what was I thinking about when that animal came up again and again and again and again, you know? Uh, M 
has been seeing hawks in your local parks. Sophia, we are being guided. We need to learn to listen deep enough and find the guidance in places we haven't before. 100%. Margot Hawk is always my messenger. Hannah, hearing and seeing hawks a lot, even this morning. Christina's been seeing lots of, lots of hawks lately. One was spreading their feathers and sunning themselves on our fence. That's gorgeous. Yeah, hawks. Hawks have been a lot. Yeah. We are being guided, Sophia. Let us take a deep breath and let that sink in. Life's not supposed to be hard. We make it hard, okay? We're the ones who get in our head and we make it hard. We are being guided. Life is a mystery. Allow yourself to relinquish some of that control. Relinquish the control that you think you have to have on your life. Take a step back. Look for the guidance, follow it, and say thank you. Jess, you're getting 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. Um, my dream last night, I woke up from my dream, and all I remembered was 3, 3, 3, 6, 6, 6, 8, 8, 8, 1, 1, 1. I was like, I don't know what that means. Those were my numbers last night. 666 is not a bad number, by the way, guys. It's it's a time of transition. It's moving from three to three. It's a whole it's a whole thing. In my opinion, right? That's my subjective understanding of that number. And that guides me. You get to be as crazy as you want to be with your symbols. I get to be as crazy as I want to be with my symbols. Okay. On Sunday, we were headed home from an event. I offer services in for three days. Look at you go. And I was overcome with the need to move a turkey that had been hit out of the middle of the road. I was terrified and did it, though, and did it through the fear and honor in regard to the softness and beauty of the wings. Then, about five miles down the road, there was a baby raccoon that I did the same. Only I used the sheet I had used as a tablecloth and left it covering the body like it was tucked in for sleep. It's all about just honor. Everything is honor and respect and intention. That's great. Christine sees 333555. Three, three, five, five. Kayla saw a hawk yesterday morning that I just remembered. Had a stunning white stripe down the middle of its chest. Well, card number three. It's not owl. I'm sorry for whoever thought it was owl, but card number three is the white raven spirit. This is card number 66. White Raven, trust in the magic. What do we need to know about the 888 portal? Trust in the magic? Anybody else having like your literal head explode right now? Cause I am. White Raven spirit, nothing in the universe is random. For the intricate web of co-creation, weaves together all events and has done so since the beginning of time. Coincidences have meaning and White Raven Spirit appears to remind you to pay attention to these synchronicities so that you might recognize patterns. Even the winds dance in a pattern, participating in the magic of Spirit's plan for all. Align with the highest good and intentions, and you will come to see that White Raven is guiding you, mm, guiding you, an ally to you and a messenger from spirit. Align with the light, and you will start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways that the eyes can't see and the mind can't always comprehend. Oh. <clears throat> The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Talked about birthright on Monday. Now is the time to trust in the magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together as if by magic and you will see the hand of great spirit arranging things in your favor. What do we need to know about the 888 portal? Tune into the magic. This whole reading is saying the exact same thing. This whole reading is saying the exact same thing. Pay attention to the synchronicities, the patterns, drop into that. Uh, it's happening for you, right? I can't, there's, I have nothing else to say. 
Um, 888 portal, life is a mystery. Don't try to figure it out with your mind. Just flow with it. Why? Because things are coming to guide you. You are so loved. You are so guided. You are so safe. Just trust. Just trust um, in the magic because there's magic all around you. If it's too good to be true, damn it, thank you. Thank you. I've created this because it's too good to be true. I'm going to own it. I'm going to take it. You can, uh, if, oh my gosh, do you get, what, what questions do you guys still have about this reading? I have, I feel like there's more to say, but I feel like I'm assuming what you guys are thinking. So tell me, what are you still questioning about? What do we need to know about the 888 portal? For me, this is clear as day, but tell me, what are you, what are you wondering? Hi, Ashley. We do group readings. That was just the recap of our first deck. We're about to pull from a second deck. We pull one culminating card. So that might be your card today. Sophia feels like it's saying you're already being guided, damn it. Will you listen? 100%. 100%. You've been being guided your whole life. But were you trying to make sense of it? Were you trying to... Am I just reading too much into this? Am I just thinking too much about this? No. No, you're being guided because life is literal magic. Life is literal magic. And all, all you have to do is... is accept it. Mm. It is a process. It is a process, guys. I'm not trying to negate the stuff that we pile onto us from childhood, right? Like, we do create these really difficult situations in life, but it doesn't have to be difficult. Let spirit be your guide. Trust the magic. Every everything happens for you, right? Like, let my batshit ass be your guide right now. I'm... I, I, I just left my life. I just I'm in on a on a whim. It felt right. There was so, there were so many signs. There were so many synchronicities. Um, I'm I'm leaving my husband. I am on the road. I I do not have a safe landing place. I do, but I don't. But everything's in flux. Am I worried about it? No. Do I trust that everything is working out brilliantly, exactly as I want it to? Hell yes. Because I keep being guided. I have these lofty ideas. I opened up the other day and I told you guys my plan is to get in an RV and just go. I have an online business. Just go. Just go. Who is... You got? It takes a crazy person to do that stuff because I know life is a mystery. I'm being guided. Every time I think about it, I look at a license plate and I see 333. I see 888. I see 555. And I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. It's happening, right? Because I trust in the magical life. <laughs> And you just watch. You just watch. You hang out here, you just watch. <sighs> My gosh. Uh, Sophia right there with you, I would scream. If I wasn't in the library, you could do that internal scream, that like... Because <sighs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and yeah, this is, this is all for you guys as well. All of these messages are for you. <laughs> that's my favorite... Uh, yeah, I've developed a lot of self-confidence over the last few years, uh, so I know I'm the shit. And my favorite thing to remind you guys is that you are also the shit. 100%. We're all, yeah. Whatever you see in me, you have to have it in you. Because if you see something in me that you like, it has to exist in you. Because it, it, how else would you see it? How else would it exist? It has to exist within you. Anyway, Nicole says it's so clear. I asked to see a feather on my walk today, and within five minutes, one was there. I'm so grateful for this reading and all the beautiful signs. There's magic around you. It's always been around you. You have to tune into it. Karen, I asked Monday for help knowing how to invest proceeds from selling your house. I was at a park and immediately saw the sky divided into threes. There were three telescopes in front of me looking at three benches. I asked if thirds is how to invest. Confirm for me in this next tree next to me with his carvings. I saw no shit divided by three carved in a tree. Done that. I, it, magic. Magic. 
A giant classroom, Joy? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The world is a giant classroom. RV is the dream. Yeah. Hell yeah. Journal about that RV, Jackie. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing tonight and tomorrow. You're brave, not crazy. Well, not too crazy. You have to be crazy to be brave. Teresa, feathers come to you also. Yeah, wow, this is great. Uh, can't wait for the next deck. We have one more deck, one more question. <laughs> Carrie, the words synchronicity and magic have been all around me lately. And now this session, dot, 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 wow. I feel you. I feel you. Um, and you know what? So we had Bobcat, we had Hawk, and then Raven, and I already had this Birdkin messages deck ready to go for the last card. Um, we're going to ask, 888 Portal's been fun, uh, but we still have Venus conjunct Mercury today. Venus is giving Mercury a kiss on the forehead to soften his mind as he reviews. So how is Venus helping Mercury's retrograde? That's what this Birdkin messages deck is going to answer for us. How is Venus helping Mercury's retrograde? Feel free to send your energy into this deck. We're just asking for one card, one to wrap it up for everybody. How is Venus helping Mercury's retrograde? Wowza. Um, earlier, I saw Charlotte, I think, donated, and I don't think I said thank you, so I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. If you guys have been enjoying today's session, if you would like to offer an energy exchange in the form of a donation, they're always appreciated. If you haven't followed me yet on Insight Timer, feel free to do so, um, so that you can keep track of when I'm live. I come on here about twice a week, Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, depending on what the astrology is doing. Um, if you want to see what else I'm up to, I do run a full moon and new moon Patreon group. It's called Embody Astrology. It's in my link tree, which is in my Insight Timer bio. Uh, I have been promising these ast astrology uh, workshops, courses on track this year, um, but my life is in chaos right now. So I haven't made my Leo course. I'll get back on track with Virgo. Leo will come out. You know, there's a, I, there has to be a reason why it didn't happen this time. But if you want to take my cancer course, that's still up. Uh, it can still be timely. Uh, yeah, and just go on my link tree if you want to see what I'm up to. My email list is there. I only send out information when I really have something to say, like my coaching packages that are going to reopen at the end of September. So if you want information on how to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I only offer a small number of one-on-one -on -one coaching packages. So email list is the way to get that information. These messages are short, um, but they're always spot on. So we asked, how is Venus helping Mercury's retrograde? Course, it's card number 11. It's Hummingbird. You have the willpower and skill to execute the task. Although the hummingbird is beautiful and delicate, they are equally watchful and maneuvering. Embody these attributes in yourself. Think back to when you believed you failed, only to realize your most substantial talents and moments were not overlooked by others, but within yourself. Take a moment to feel into your inherent ability and power. What do we need to know about the, uh, no, how is Venus helping Mercury's retrograde? Mercury's gonna be retrograde until the 28th. I don't know where my calendar went. Um, the 28th of August. So we're just starting Mercury retrograde and it is a task to review what you have asked for, right? Especially we had this new moon, we have this 8 at 8 portal. Mm, now Mercury's gonna review, is this really what I want? Am I really able to do this? Am I realistically able to <laughs> drop the life that I have to go for the life that I want? Um, so Venus is kissing Mercury on the head. Remember, Venus is giving Mercury this gentle touch of, go, go look over here. Right? I see Venus as like the signs that are coming into your life right now. Venus is saying, you know what? I'm going to bring up this memory for you so that you look over in this direction. Because 
everything that you are second guessing in yourself, you have it, you have the skill. Think back to when you believed you failed only to realize your most substantial talents and moments were not overlooked by others, but in yourself. Yeah, I just had this talk with someone the other day. Are you believing that... Did people really give you as much shit as you think they did? Or were you just convincing yourself that there was something wrong with you and then you assumed that everyone was treating you like there was something wrong with you? I, guys, I check myself on this all the time. I'm the baby of 10 kids. Were they really as mean to me as I think they were? Or did I just carry that aura of insecurity because I got made fun of a couple times and then I assumed that every time they were saying something, it was negative towards me? That's, uh, that's what the hummingbird card is telling, yourself, is telling you. Take a moment to feel into your inherent ability and your power. You are powerful. You are being guided you don't need to get in your head about everything just go with what feels good still leo season still heart-led living leo rules the heart the heart is your true animal desire i feel like traveling i've been feeling like traveling for a long time for a long time uh the mountains are calling so I'm going to figure out how to go travel. And you know what? I'm not going to figure it out. I'm going to put the intention out there. I'm going to let spirit be my guide. And I'm going to trust in the magic. And when things show up for me, I'm going to say, wow, thank you. This is great. I'm going to do my job, which is to keep myself happy, to keep myself expanded, to keep engaging in the things that bring me joy. Do I have to get my Leo course out? Yeah. Did I want to go line dancing last night? Yeah. Did I have the time of my life? Yeah. Keep yourself happy. Allow magic to come into your life. Thank you, Christine. I really appreciate your donation. Really appreciate it. Caroline says, complacency is no fun. We the shit. <laughs> Teresa has feathers come to you also. Carrie says, birds are my jam, too. Birds have been crazy for me lately. Do the courses on Insight Timer go away after a certain amount of time? No, Jackie, they don't. Um, the courses that I've put on Insight Timer, so, so far I've created the Aries course, the Taurus course, the Gemini course, and the Cancer course. Uh, they're going to be there forever, as well as my Astrology 101 course. Um, yeah, they're always there. I also have the video versions of my courses, except for Astrology 101. That one is going to be a book. I have an ebook ready to go. Thank you, Sidekick Jackie. I haven't forgotten about that ebook. I had help turning Astrology 101 into a book. Um, that's going to go on Patreon soon. But the video versions of my Embody Astrology courses are available on my Patreon if you guys would rather look at me and learn instead of just listen to me and learn. Caroline is working through imposter syndrome. Been there, still am there a lot of the time. And I just say, F it. <laughs> this is what I want to be, so I'm going to be it. Um, but yeah, working through imposter syndrome sucks. Uh, and it's all it all has to do with your impression of yourself. The first, I remember uh, when I was student teaching, I used to be a teacher. And when I was student teaching, my cooperating teacher, like the lady guiding me through all this, she told me, fake it till you make it. And I was like, this professional educator is telling me to fake it? What? And that's exactly what I did. And I walked into my classes every day and I was like, I'm a badass teacher. I'm the best teacher these kids have ever seen. And you know what? When you reprogram your subconscious, when you tell yourself you are the magical person, being that you are, it starts to happen. It's, st <laughs> I don't like having this tone of voice when I talk about this stuff. This is me being really excited and I feel like I'm talking to you guys like you're dumb, but like I'm talking to myself like that too. I'm talking to past Jackie like that because man, have I made my life so difficult 
thinking that I had to do everything mentally. Just, yeah. Um, tell yourself you're great. Look at yourself in the mirror and, and tell yourself, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And just see, it's going to feel weird. If you've never done it before, it's going to feel weird. But keep doing it. Keep coming back. It works if you work it. It's everything. Just keep keep doing it. Um, you have the willpower and skill to do whatever you want to do. You just have to believe in yourself. Catherine and Jennifer, thank you very, very much for your donations. Christine says, Astrology 101 is excellent. Would definitely buy your book, Jackie. Jane says she can't hear me. Can anyone else? Teresa, best advice ever. Sophia, as if our poor little minds had the capacity to understand this magical universe. Yes, the mind is poison. The mind is to categorize information. The mind is not to make decisions. What? Look into the human design. Look into your inner authority in the human design. Do a little bit of research on what your inner authority is. It's a very small percentage of people who are mental projectors. That doesn't even mean that you think through your stuff. That means you speak it out loud and you hear yourself talking and it makes sense. You don't need to process. Carrie, I'm beginning to realize that what I thought was my superpower growing up is actually my undoing as an adult. As an, as an adult. Looked like positive coping mechanisms to the outer world was setting me up for disaster. I am coming out of it as I come out of my head more. So, Carrie, in your younger life, it probably was your superpower because at that time, it's what you needed and it's what you were doing that was working for you at that time. Those experiences have now carried into your adult life and now it is a, in a different way becoming your superpower because you have learned so much from living life the way that you lived. And only you have that experience. Only you have that subjective experience. April loves mirror work, saying, I love you to myself has gotten easier. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, two years ago, I would not be as honest by saying I am the shit and you are the shit. I had to train myself. I literally had to train myself to love myself. <sighs> Joy, every morning I look in the mirror and say, I am a beautiful sea <laughs> in the divine body of creation or the universe. My skills and talents are very necessary at this time and place. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Cradle the mind into deep rest. It's not all its job. A relaxed mind is more playful and receptive. I'll be back on Wednesday next week. One whole week without Jackie. You guys are going to be okay. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to talk about... I didn't write that down. Uh, the Jupiter and Mars are coming together. Jupiter can jump Mars. And uh, you guys know the song by the fifth dimension, the age of Aquarius. What's the first lyric? When the moon, <laughs> when the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars. So at some point on that day, depending on where you are in the world, the moon will be in the seventh house as Jupiter aligns with Mars. So, um, yeah, we're going to talk about how the age of Aquarius is upon us with the Jupiter-Mars conjunction. That's going to be one week from today. Cool. Uh, 888 portal script as if your life is what it is. Um, look for signs. And I know that that is such a broad, wide statement look for patterns. That's what I'll leave you with. If you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say look for signs, look for patterns. What keeps coming up? Mm, I keep seeing that number. Mm, I keep seeing that animal. Mm, this song keeps coming up at the bright times, you know. Catherine, I have that album. I love it. Sophia, oh come on, now you have to sing it. I don't have to do anything you say, Sophia. 
uh, April's been listening to Shining Star from Earth, Wind, and Fire to raise your vibe. I don't think I know that song, but I love me some Earth, Wind, and Fire, so I have Googled it. Thank you. I'm going to listen to that right now. Um, I have things to do today, so I need to respect the time of myself and others. Sending love to all. Tap into the magic. Namaste. You are the magician. It is so because I say so, and so it is. Take care. I hope that video was just as insightful for you as it was for all of us. Darla and I really appreciate you being here with me. Thank you for liking this video, sharing it with a friend who you think would benefit, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, drop a comment and let us know what you got from this video. What was your biggest insight or takeaway? If you want to see what else I'm working on, click on my link tree. It's right underneath this YouTube video. We'll see you next time. Take care.